We are celebrating love and equality all month long here. We've got Pride Fest in St. Pete, spreading events out each weekend in order to keep things COVID safe. Uh, each week has a theme, and this week's focus is on family and kids. And the party was on at the St. Pete Pier and North and South Straub Parks once again. There were live performances, food, and what's become the crowd favorite there, the bubble playground. But as Pride Month continues, maybe you're getting some questions from your kids about what it all means. Well, if you haven't had the conversations about what Pride Month is yet, we've got 10 Tampa Bay's Twilon Wynn joining us live this morning with some advice. Good morning, Twilon. Josh, good morning. I spoke to the owner of Blackout Consultants and she goes into schools and businesses and talks about diversity and how to keep spaces safe for all kinds of people. And she's also a parent, so she understands that kind of panic you might feel if your kids ask questions about things that are brand new to them. Maybe pride in this instance and her best advice is to just keep everything really simple. My first suggestion would be to actually listen to what your child is asking you um, and give them very simple answers that make sense for their comprehension for their age. If you see rainbows, why, why are there rainbows everywhere? Because we are celebrating Pride Month and Pride Month is a celebration of LGBTQ people and love. A lot of parents question, how young is too young to talk about the LGBTQ plus community? Tamara Lee says there shouldn't be an age limit, that we should always be open to discussing people's differences and acceptance. If you teach them that love is love and some people fall in love with people who are the same sex as them and some people fall in love with people who are the opposite sex of them. Some of us are born matching the gender that's assigned to us at birth. Some of us aren't. Lee says from her own experience, kids only need a simple explanation to their questions and they're not often as complicated to answer as we think they'll be. They just accept what's in front of them. They see what it is. Who are those two people? Why are they kissing? Because they're in love. Oh, okay. And then they go play. <laughs> it really can be that simple, Tweelon. Yeah, all right. But this is having the conversation with your kids. What are you going to talk to the adults, though? Absolutely. Some of the fear of these conversations come because we don't understand ourselves enough about the mm. subject matter. So right now on 10 Tampa Bay, we have a really easy guide that can get you started. It's not all the answers you may need, but it has some common terms and pronouns that you may not quite understand. So it's better if you learn a little bit yourself and then you're easier to have those conversations with other people. Yeah, familiarize yourself with some of those different terms. All right, good. Thank you, Twilon.